In working capital cycle, we were expressing the raw material, finished goods, receivables, kratas, everything in number of days. How those number of days were calculated? Actually, those number of days were called as holding period. How those were calculated? Let us see in this session. The first one is raw material holding period. That is number of days of raw material that was kept as inventory. How this is calculated? This is nothing but average stock of raw material divided by average consumption of raw material per day. So here the stock of raw material is divided by average consumption of raw material per day. So how do we get to know what is average consumption of raw material per day? This is nothing but annual consumption of raw material divided by number of days in a year which would give average cost of raw material consumption per day. So this is raw material holding period. How to compute the number of days of production process that is work in process holding period. This is nothing but average work in process inventory divided by what cost should be taken for division. It, the cost should be total production cost. So it is divided by average cost of production per day. So here we have to find the total production cost per annum that should be divided by number of days in a year so that would give average cost of production per day so average work in process divided by average cost of production per day would give you working process holding period the next one is finished goods holding period so for finished goods holding period your numerator would be your average finished goods whereas the denominator would be average cost of goods sold per day that's more important so on numerator you will have average stock of finished goods whereas on the denominator you will have average cost of goods sold per day. So this is more important. So there is a change in denominator from raw material to work in progress to finished goods. In raw material the denominator was raw material consumed per day. In work in process the denominator was cost of production per day. Whereas in finished goods, the denominator is cost of goods sold per day. Next, let's see how to find the data's collection period. That is how many days you take to collect the, collect the sales from your customers. And this is calculated as average data's divided by average credit sales per day. So average credit sales per day have to be computed by taking total sales and identifying credit sales out of it dividing it by number of days would give you average credit sales then let's also find how to get this creditors payment period creditors payment period is nothing but average creditors divided by average credit purchases per day this credit purchases also have to be lifted from total purchase Take total purchase, identify what is credit purchase. So credit purchase divided by number of days in a year would give credit purchase per day. So average creditors divided by credit purchase per day would give you creditors payment period.